Hi and welcome to the Azam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohammad Azam. And at WWDC 2016, Apple announced iOS 10 and also Xcode 8. Um, one of the great features of iOS 10 was to actually create messages extension. Now I think this is going to be really awesome because I use text messages or iMessages to send messages between my friends. And if you can extend that point, you can add some of your flair to it, I think it's going to be a win-win situation. So we're going to start a screencast series on building messages extension. So let's go ahead and start it. Now this screencast will only do very, very basic kind of like introduction just to get your feet wet. And then we are going to start building much more complicated application using iOS 10 and messages extensions. Now, one thing I should mention is that outside my house, for some reason, uh, they are doing fireworks. It's actually July 2nd, but they are still doing fireworks right now. But So you might hear something outside. So I'm going to launch Xcode and I'm going to create a new project. And you can see that in your application, you have two options for creating messages application. One is messages application and one is sticker pack application. Now I'm going to use messages application because sticker pack is extremely simple. You simply drag and drop your images and that's literally it, you're done. So let's go ahead and create messages application. I'm going to say this application is called location share because I want to share my location with the other person. So let's go ahead and say next and let's go ahead and create the application. Now look at all of these files. Now with our main uh, file that we are interested in or will be in the messages extension folder and the default controller that the Xcode has added is messages view controller actually select iOS phone 6s which inherits or the subclass of ms messages app view controller now this is a controller that provides us with all the features and all those luxuries for creating messages extensions and you can see the documentation as it says that act will become active, it will be fire when the extension becomes active and the extension is about to be presented to the UI. And so on, there are many different messages. Let's look at the storyboard, what it looks like for our messages extension. And you can see the storyboard contains only a label saying hello world. Let's actually run it on an iPhone. Now, of course, if you run an extension, it's going to ask you that uh, which application you want to run. So since our extension is of type messages extension, we are going to run messages application. So let's go ahead and run that. Now, of course, this is just the default state. It doesn't have anything right now. Um, so if I open up the Apple or the App Store, you can see some of the things that are already added by, uh, by Apple. So if I click on this guy, I can actually send this information. The great thing about this simulator is that Apple is kind enough to already add two users. So I can play around with these two users. So a message user one has sent the message and here we go, message user two has received the message. So let's go ahead to message user one. I'm going to look at my extension. So you can see over here, there are more pages that I can go through. So I'm going to go to the last one, which is called messages extension. And uh, it will take some time for it to load, uh, but it will eventually load and you'll see the hello world. And here we go. So finally, you can see hello world. All right. One of the other things you can do with the messages in iOS 10 is that you can click on a message and you can see these things actually pop up. You can do thumbs up or thumbs down kind of thing. Um, you can also, of course, send a message. This is a test. And you can send the message. And the message to user, which is this one, this actually received the message. Each message can be long press and then you can do, you know, you can attach different things to it, I guess. But the question is, how do you send a message? All right. So every messages app, the main thing is the conversation, which is a subclass of MS conversation. And since if you go inside MS messages app view controller, 
you can actually see that the messages app view controller provides us with an active conversation that we can get. Now conversation, of course, is whatever is happening in the screen. That actually is the conversation. All right, let's go ahead and build this again. Everything good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to add a UI button and so that when I click the button, it actually adds a message. Here we go. And then I can say send message. All right, let's make this full screen. I'll make it expand and then add some constraints to it. Now I do want that when I click on my message, the add message, uh, so I will say send message button pressed. And then I can go to over here in storyboard and connect it, of course. Let's go ahead and connect this one, touch up inside. Uh, and for simplicity, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert a text message. So self.activeconversation.insert text. And I can say, this is cool. And then of course I can provide what happens in the completion. Let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, let me reopen it. I think it actually crashed. Um, where were we? All right, so hopefully this will work now. Active, uh, let me see. Let's go ahead and build it. Self.activeconversation.insert text. And I'm gonna say, this is a test. And, and this is it, all right? I believe I've already connected this, so let's go ahead and run it and run the extension. Now, you can never use an MS, I mean the messages extension to actually send the message. The user will always have to press the send button to send the message, all right? So you can never do that, all right? So let me wait so that it refreshes and Sure, it's gonna take some time maybe to refresh. Taking a lot of time actually to refresh. It's kind of weird. All right, let's see if it refreshes now. You can see that it's, uh, all right, it's under development or something. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over here. Oops, we don't have a button. I think all of those changes didn't get saved, so let me do it again button pressed and there we go. And I'm gonna say just send message. All right, go ahead and extend that. Click it, uh, add missing constraints and submit and touch up inside. And hopefully it's saved. Let's go ahead and run it. And hopefully now we will see our extension with a button saying send message. All right, I'm gonna wait a little while and then there we go, going to my own extension. Now it says hello world and it's gonna refresh hopefully and say send message, here we go. I'm gonna send message and you can see that it doesn't really send a message, it just types a message in the text field. I always have to press this to send the message. So the message has been sent by message user one. So if I go back to message user two, you'll see that the message has been received. Now I can click on it and I can say whatever, and go back to message user one, there we go. It has been thumbs up. So this is just a very, very like high level, like a two twenty thousand 20,000 overview, uh, kind of like eagle eye view of what's going on in the messages extension and how you can build messages. Now we are definitely going to build much more complicated applications in the remainder of the series. So you stay tuned on Azam Sharp channel and also please, if you have any question, you can write in the comments, share this video with your friends and iOS developers. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great night.